Welcome to the video. I am wearing two different color eyeshadows on each eye. I did a Coachella inspired festival look, so hope you guys like the intensity of it. It's very different to very different um, eye looks, but um, together they're very fun and festive. So. I went to Sephora and I picked up the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. Um, it's been out for a while, but I just saw it the other day and I hadn't got my hands on it and I just decided that there's no better time than festival season to uh, pick up something with all the bright colors. Um, it's pretty awesome. It's The pigmentation's crazy. Alright guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, I'm back with a new video and it is makeup related yet again. So I thought, hey, let's do something cool on my channel. Coachella's in a couple weeks, so since I will not be going or attending Coachella, which is so devastating, um, I will do a inspired look Coachella style from my bedroom. So a couple weeks ago, went into Sephora, and I know this palette has been running around for a uh, like a hot minute and I know I'm a little bit late to the game but it's the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette and I was like this is Coachella all over it so I got all these crazy ideas of what I wanted to do um, look wise with this so I ordered it online and because they actually sold out in stores and here we have it and it looks like this and I've already dipped into it oh my god the pigmentation is out of this freaking world. Um, I was actually thinking like let's do one eye one color and the other eye another. Maybe add some glitter in there depending on how cool I'm feeling. And I don't know, inspiration hit, spent 30 bucks on a palette. Um, this does retail for $27 but I think it's worth every penny. As you guys can see I've done eyebrows and base um, and contour and I have not done highlight or eye shadow. Eyeshadow? I haven't done eyeshadow. Okay, you're zoomed in. Zoom you in a little bit more. Right, we're gonna start on one eye and see what I wanna do from there. Um, so I've already used these brushes from yesterday, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the hot pink from this palette. This one right here. Actually, let's do a transition first. So we're gonna do the light like a lilac -y pink purple and then we'll go into the, the hot pink right here. You guys are going to die. Look at that. That is like one tap in. And these actually blend like amazing. So I'm just gonna pull that out just a little like a V. Like a, like a faux wing. And you can tap in as many times as you want to get the desired shape or like pigmentation. I'm just kind of using this as a transition so that the hot pink has a little bit easier time blending. Next we're going to go in with the hot, hot pink. Sorry my brushes are disgusting. I used them yesterday. Same look. So We're going to use a fluffy blending brush from the Morphe Ice Slay palette. It's not as tapered as the other one and the reason I do this is to get a little bit more of a blended transition between the two pink colors and I'm trying to kind of make a halo eye effect except I'm not gonna cut my crease or anything but the tiny tapered brush from the Morphe Ice Lay palette I'm going to go in with the purple at the top I'm not going to put it in my crease, I'm just going to put it like on the outer V. I know there's like that shimmer roll or whatever. And there's a little bit of kickback, but that's just because it's a shimmer, so. 
instead of going in with the shimmer from the Huda Beauty Electrics palette, I'm going to go in with a NYX um, shadow in the shade Ultraviolet. It's going to be this very purpley color. I'm going to dip that in with my tapered brush and I'm going to put that on the outer V. And that works so much better. And I want that just the outer V and then kind of like halfway in. I just used a small blending brush to uh, blend out the purple just to make it a little less harsh and look like it has a little bit more of a blend in. Just blending that purple into the the crease. And I just like sweep the fallout with a big fluffy brush from underneath. I'm just gonna go in with the pencil brush and that purple shimmer and just put that on the outer V. Well, let's just merge it into the purple. I think that's the best way to go. So I'm going back in with that lilac kind of purpley color from the Huda Electric Palette and I'm going out onto the outer part where we put it and I'm just going to blend that in just so that we blend the color so that it's seamless. I'm going to use the blue shimmer on my finger from this palette, this color right here. And I'm going to use my finger, this electric blue, and I'm going to put that on the inner half of my lid. Oh my god, this color is insane. And I'm just going to... Sweep it all. That is crazy. I really want my purple to show up, so I'm gonna kind of like go on the outer V with my finger just to push that in. Because I feel like these colors work better when they're used with your finger. I mean, most, shiver, sh most shimmers do. That's incredible. There's like fallout everywhere. Sorry, guys. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I am going to just kind of sweep the pink under my eyes. I'm going to go in with a light pink first and just kind of blend it underneath. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the fuchsia. I go right in underneath. I want to go in with the blue shade. And I'm going to go underneath very close to my lash line. Okay. And that's one eye done. I'm going to do um, eyeliner and mascara and lashes off camera. And then I'm going to get into this side as well. Okay, we're back with one side done. Um, for my inner corner, I used Luna from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette. So I used this white shade right here. Put that on my inner corner. So I'm going to use my Androgyny palette by Jeffree Star for some of this just because it has like a bright orange in, I want to use that in my crease and then I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Electric Bright Orange. So we're going to go in with the yellow shade from the Huda Beauty palette. I'm going to use that as my transition. Not as bright as I thought it was going to be. I'm using a IT Cosmetics angled fluffy brush and the reason I'm using the angled fluffy brush is so that I can get that V on the outside and it's going to be really clean. 
So I'm just building up that intensity of the yellow. And yellows are really hard, so this is probably not going to show up as thick or as pigmented as I want. So I've already prepared myself for that. So next I'm going to take Charm from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette. It's this one right here. And I'm going to put that in my crease just to kind of deepen up the yellow. Oh, that actually looks amazing. These two colors, oh my gosh. I didn't realize that this color was gonna be so bright. Then I'm gonna go on with an IT Cosmetics blending brush and I'm going to use the orange in the Huda Beauty palette, so this color right here. I'm gonna pack that onto my brush because I kinda wanna go in a little bit heavy handed. Okay, and I'm going to keep it on the outer V. That actually looks so cool. Then I'm going to take this red pink kind of shade on the outer V and I'm just going to stamp it. That's like killer. I'm going to keep it down and in the middle. I just want it to just barely blend into the crease. I'm going to go back in with the orange, and I'm just going to blend that out. I'm going to take a smaller defining fluffy brush. I'm just going to blend it out from the corner. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I am going to go in with frosting from the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette, which is this gold shade right here. So I'm going to go in with frosting from the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette, and I'm going to put that on the rest of the bare skin that we have on my lid. Oh my god. This isn't even real, guys. It looks so good. Go back in with my packing brush and the red shade because it covered kind of some of that red shade. I'm just going to stamp that red shade back on just to kind of blend out the shadow and the... Uh... Oh, oh my god, it looks amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take the yellow on the Urban Decay Smoky Palette brush on the end that is kind of like tapered like this and I'm going to go in with the yellow shade. I'm going to blend that on the bottom of my crease or I'm going to blend that on the bottom of my eyelash right by my lash line. And then I'm going to go in with that same brush and Charmed from the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette, and I'm gonna smoke that out. Then I'm gonna go in with the orange from the Huda Beauty palette. I'm gonna go in with the orange from the Huda Beauty palette, and I'm gonna run my Anastasia blending brush from all their palettes underneath my eye, just to brighten it up. And then next, I'm going to go in with the red shade from the corner here with the same brush. And I'm just going to get the outer part. I'm not going farther than just the outer. So I'm keeping it really like 
really on the very outer part just to match what's going on at the top. Okay, this is the finished look. We're gonna do liner and lashes and I'll be right back. All right guys, this is the finished look. My eyeliner was such a challenge today. So it looks a little wonky on the side, but this is it. So I used the Stila um, Kitten Highlighter and I used the Fenty Beauty um, Trophy Wipe Highlighter and I just kind of strobed it all over. That's what's on my face. And then I just did a lip gloss. I didn't do anything because the look is kind of like very out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm really hungry and tired, but uh, that's all I got. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time.